The SoftStep Keyworks application takes control data from the SoftStep foot controller and uses it to control your computer in many possible ways. With Keyworks, you can send keystrokes and combinations, open files and applications, scroll through windows and applications, and even control the mouse cursor, all from the SoftStep foot controller. In this tutorial, we'll take a step-by-step -step look at how to set up the Keyworks application for all of these control situations. To begin, make sure your SoftStep is plugged in prior to opening the Keyworks application. Keyworks always automatically opens the scene you previously had open when you last closed the application. When making our own scene presets, such as now, we will want to start from scratch. So let's select the second scene preset titled Blank New Template. Now we will see the individual keys are cleared out and we have a blank slate to begin building our scene. Let's look at how to program an individual key in Keyworks. First, we will choose one of SoftStep's 10 keys to create an action for. Let's start with key 1, which is located in the bottom left corner of the Keyworks application window. The first thing we will notice is the function menu is set to off. So right now, no action will be taken when we press down on key 1. Once we click the off button, a menu pops up letting us choose from one of four selections. Let's create a keystroke action by selecting keystroke. Now, a window will pop up where we can program the characteristics of our keystroke action. In the top half of this window, there are two lines available for entering a keystroke command. First, we want to select what will trigger this keystroke. If we click the button titled None, we will see a menu pop up giving us a list of all possible trigger source types for our soft step foot key. The basic source type is called foot on, which means once you touch any part of the soft step foot key, it will trigger the keystroke command. The other triggers listed are useful if you want to be able to send two separate keystrokes or combinations from a single soft step key. You can select top, bottom, left, or right. Right now, let's select foot on, since we only want to use a single keystroke action for this soft step keypad. The next box to the right is for inputting which key you want to output in your keystroke action. To enter a key, simply click inside the box and press down any key on your keyboard. For this example, let's use the N key. One thing to note is that when you first click the gray box to enter a key, you shouldn't see anything appear or change before you enter your key. Next, you can select any modifiers you would like to go along with your keystroke. Since command N is a common key combination for new document, let's use the command modifier for this example. The bottom half of the keystroke window gives you the ability to repeat your command at a specific interval with the speed adjustment. The accelerator setting allows you to dynamically change the speed interval at which your key command is repeated by pressing harder or softer on the soft steps keypad. If you want to learn more about the repeat functionality, consult the Keyworks reference manual. Now that we have our keystroke function set up, let's close the key one window. Lastly, we can change the display name which will appear on the soft step when key one is pressed. Let's click the name box and type new. The display can hold up to four numbers or characters. That's all it takes to create a keystroke action inside Keyworks. Let's quickly add a second key action on keypad number two. By selecting with keystroke function, choosing foot on as our source, and clicking command as our modifier, and inputting the letter W as our keystroke. Now, when we open a program such as text edit, we can see our Keyworks shortcut in action. Key 1 is Command N for New Document, and Key 2 is Command W for Close Window. Next, we'll look at the other types of Keyworks actions you can create. Let's click on Key 3's function menu and select Open and Focus. Now, this section of Keyworks is slightly different inside the Windows software version. Right now, we're looking at the Mac version, so we'll look at Windows next once we finish explaining this example. Once Open and Focus is selected, a small window pops up with a drag and drop box where we can simply drag and drop our applications, files, or folders we want to open with Keyworks. It is as simple as that. Simply locate what it is you want to open using the Macintosh Finder, drag it into the window, and that's all there is to it. Let's open up a new Finder window and navigate to our Applications folder. How about we open the Calculator application? Let's drag and drop the Calculator app into the window. And now we can see Key 3 has calculator.app shown as its action. 
Now, when we press on Soft Steps Keypad 3, voila, our calculator opens. As well as applications, you can drop files or folders onto this window. So, for key 4, let's select Open and Focus and drop the entire Applications folder onto our window. It's really as simple as that. Now, the Open and Focus part of the Windows Keyworks application functions differently compared to our Mac version. Let's take a look. Here is what the Windows Keyworks application looks like. The main Keyworks interface is identical. What's different is inside the function menu, where we see Focus as the last selection. This was previously open in Focus in the Mac version. Once we select Focus, a small window appears with a number box titled Select Time. The Focus action on Windows is automatically programmed to perform the Alt-Tab shortcut, which enables you to switch between currently open applications in Windows. This millisecond time we see represents the delay from when you make your selection until the action completes and closes the selection window. The default value for this is 1 second, or 1000 milliseconds. If you want a faster transition time, lower the value to whatever time best suits your needs. To open applications in the Windows version of Keyworks, you must create a keystroke shortcut for that application within Windows. You can do this by right-clicking on the application, selecting Properties, and choosing a key combination that you would like to open. So, for this example, if we want to open the Paint application, we must locate Paint, right-click and select Properties, then under the Key Command section, choose a suitable key combination. Let's use Ctrl-Alt-P as our combination shortcut. Then we must add this key combination into Keyworks. Let's use Key 4, select Keystroke, select the Control and Alt modifiers, and then enter the P key. Now we can launch Microsoft Paint with a single touch of our foot. Next we'll look at the Keyworks mouse function. The mouse function in Keyworks simply emulates a mouse click. There are many different click types available, right click, left click, and double clicks of each. The mouse function is fairly straightforward. The last part of Keyworks we will cover is the navigation pad. The navigation pad is used in one of two ways. By selecting the middle arrow symbol, the navigation pad can be used as up, down, left, and right arrow keys, just as on your keyboard. Once the arrow selection is made, a setting window appears with options identical to our keystroke repeat settings we looked at earlier. The delay number controls how long you must hold the key down to output repeat actions, speed controls, and the repetition intervals for those repeat actions, an accelerator can dynamically speed up or slow down the repetition based on pressure input to the keypad. The second function of the navigation pad enables you to control your mouse cursor by selecting Cursor in the navigation pad diamond. When this is selected, a cursor settings window appears allowing you to adjust speed, delay, nudge size, and acceleration. Once selected, you can instantly use the navigation keypad to move your mouse cursor in all four directions. Now, we will definitely want to save our new keywork scene, so let's press the Save button at the top of the window, and a Save Scene dialog box will appear. You can type the name of your new scene, select which slot number you want to save this new scene on, and make sure you are not saving over an important scene already on that slot number. That's everything there is to know about getting up and running with SoftStep Keyworks software. Consult the reference manual for more detailed explanations of all topics we have covered in this video.